Hey everybody, NecroVMX here, and yes, you are supposed to be staring at a bunch of gray nothingness. Um, you'll see why in a little bit. You're actually looking at Photoshop. See, there's my mouse. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't done any videos in a while. I could easily explain that. Not that I really have to, but I haven't been feeling too good. I'm still kind of stuffed up and groggy. I got a sore throat. Obviously, I got a cold or something. So, um, you know, on Tuesday and Wednesday, I was planning on doing videos on both those days, but Tuesday I was really stressed out and not feeling so well. Wednesday I felt even worse. Yesterday was Thanksgiving. Today I'm not feeling up to it, so no videos. Um, to all the people that left me messages and sent me, like, emails and shit wishing me a happy Thanksgiving, well, thanks for that. I appreciate it. Sorry I couldn't answer you, but I wasn't on the computer too much yesterday, and I definitely wasn't on YouTube, so, you know. Um, the two videos that I'm going to be doing today, uh, this is one of them, and then I'm going to do another one after this, are about some mysteries uh, that I'm hoping some of you guys might help me shed some light on these mysteries. The first one, the one that you're watching now, is just something that I'm kind of curious about. The other thing, uh, which you'll see in a video after this, is driving me absolutely crazy. So first, I wanted to show you this. Um, while I was doing some research, in preparation for an upcoming feature about uh, Castlevania. Uh, yeah, that's right, yet another feature about it. Don't worry, this one's going to be only three videos and it's going to be not gameplay oriented, so don't get too excited. But um, I got distracted and started looking at artwork and I came across this picture. Now this is a really nice looking picture uh, that, judging from the file name, is based on Symphony of the Night although it doesn't match the art style from that game or from the previous game, Kino Rondo, although it does look like the art style from the remake of Kino Mondo, uh, Dracula X Chronicles for PlayStation Portable, which also included Symphony of the Night, so it could be from that. That's the kind of the first part of the mysteries. I don't know if this is official artwork from Konami or anybody associated with them or fan artwork. Um, if it's fan artwork, it's really good and I kind of want to know who did it. There's no kind of signature or anything on it and the per you know it wasn't credited as being anybody's work so I really don't know where it came from. There's a lot of detail in this and not just the characters but I'll show you in a bit there's a uh, detail in the background too that you might not pick up on right away. The mystery comes from identifying all the characters. Um, I obviously know the four figures that are standing there in the chairs you have Richter Belmont and his wife Annette Renard well, I guess that would be Annette Belmont, right? And um, so that's that's pretty easy. And in the background, you have Alucard and his girlfriend, Maria Renard, who's Annette's sister. So that's pretty easy. But then when I look at the background, I see all these portraits. And it's kind of interesting that there's one person I can't identify. But let's take a look. Let me zoom in here. Oh, don't zoom in that much. Damn. Okay, well, that that is obviously Simon Belmont. He's wearing the same armor as he was in the... Uh, cover of Simon's Quest, and actually if you look at it, he's kind of standing in the same setting. I mean, you could see the fireplace and the candles, well, you can't see the candles, but you could see a portrait behind him and a mirror over here. And obviously, they replaced the mirror with the portrait of him, but you could see the portrait over there matches the portrait that's still there, although Alucard's big fat head is in the way. You could see that it's the same basic portrait. So, okay, that's Simon. Well, let's move over here. Okay, that's obviously Trevor and Sypha, and as you can see, the portrait is not there because they were posing for it, and that mirror is still there because Simon wasn't born yet. You can see the candles, though. It's not lit, but there you have it. Kind of interesting that there there's no candle, there there is one, but it's not lit, and there there is one. Then I look over here, and I see Christopher Belmont. Okay, well, this is a close-up, and uh, I don't know if he's got his eyes closed or if he's constipated or whatnot, but that's obviously Christopher Belmont. looks just like him. There's nothing going on in the background. Um, so you really can't tell. He came after Trevor, but before Simon. That doesn't really matter. And then you have this guy. Who the hell is that? I mean, it's another close-up, and you can't really tell who it is. Um, Alucard's shoulder is blocking part of it, but I really don't recognize him. Now, what bugs me about it is it could be any number of characters. Now, since there's a portrait up of this person, and this is obviously a Belmont house since the, all the portraits are up, it makes me think that this person probably should be a Belmont and somebody that came before Richter. It's not Julius, even though he kind of looks like Julius without his goatee and mustache, like a younger Julius, but it's not him because he wasn't born until the 20th, uh, I'm sorry, the 19th, the 20th century. No, I was right the first time, the 20th century. So who is this? The only other Belmont that came before Richter, 
Um, well, there's two of them, actually. One would be Leon Belmont, the very first, and he does sort of have that red lapel look going, but Leon Belmont had very short hair, as you can see compared to this guy. I mean, not very short, but it's much shorter, and you can see that it's much lighter. It's blonde, so that's obviously not Leon. It also kind of looks like Juiced Belmont, and the design of the lapel seems to match that, even though it doesn't have those white stripes. I mean, obviously, he owns more than one suit of clothes, right? But the hair, there it's dark, there it's white. Now, Juiced, as he appeared in Harmony of Dissonance, was only 18 years old, so it's not like he went white later on. I mean, maybe he dyed it. I don't know what's going on, but it could be Juiced. But to be honest, it looks like Dracula. Yeah, look at him. It kind of looks like Dracula. Or, or wait, wait. Yeah, see? Look at him. Um, I don't know why Richter Belmont would have a portrait of Dracula up in his house, but uh, if you if you look at it, that's kind of what it looks like. So, I mean, is that Dracula, or is it somebody else? You can't see it there, and you might have been able to see it there, except Olicard's head is in the way. So, who is that? If anybody has, like, a satisfactory answer or explanation, I'd love to hear it. And also, if you know who drew this, or if it's official artwork or not, I'd also love to know that. Anyway, that's one of the two mysteries from today. That's the one that I'm just kind of curious about. Um, in a few minutes, you'll see another video about one that's driving me absolutely crazy. So, let me get on that. Peace.